continuing today with another of uh, Isaac Watts' versions of the Gloria. And uh, one of the most wonderful things, I think, about um, worshipping God, the Trinity, is the uh, just the mystery of uh, what we're doing there's there's nothing else in all of experience or or the world that is like offering worship to the mystery of God three persons three distinct persons and yet one God as the theologians say one essence but three persons um, and when we try to understand the uh, nature of the three persons, we find it easier to understand what the theologians call the economic trinity. That's the role of Father, Son and Spirit in uh, the different things that they uh, do. For instance, um, uh, creation is from the Father through the Son and by the Spirit. Um, salvation is from the Father, through the Son, and by the Spirit. The Father uh, is the initiator. Redemption is, he's the one who sent his Son. The Son is the Redeemer who accomplishes redemption, and the Spirit applies redemption. That's what we call the economic trinity. It's the, the, the trinity functioning in different roles, and that's something we can just sort of grasp. But what's totally beyond our understanding is what we might call the essential trinity in their essence, the relationship between Father, Son, and Spirit that has been from eternity to eternity that has always been, the Son as the only begotten of the Father, and the Spirit proceeding from the Father and the Son as the creed tries to uh, put words around this. Uh, and the creeds try to do that. And uh, it's for me, it's one thing to, as it were, to worship the economic trinity, think of the roles of Father, Son, and Spirit as they've been revealed in creation or redemption. Um, but it's another thing to just be lost in amazement and wonder at their the essential trinity, who they are, how they relate the distinction between each person that has never been revealed to us because it's not a function of what they have done or anything they have done. It's a function of who they are or descriptive of who they are. And this uh, brief version of the Gloria by Isaac Watts uh, falls back again on having to think about the economic trinity. To God, the maker's name, God is the initiator of creation, give honor, love, and fear. And then he says, to God, the savior, that's the son, pay the same. And then God, the comforter. So he's distinguishing that the father as the initiator of creation, the son as the savior, the spirit as the comforter. That's the economic trinity. Um, and then he goes on, Father of lights above, your mercy we adore, the Son of your eternal love and Spirit of your power. And um, in many ways, that's almost as far as we can go in terms of uh, uh, conceiving conceptual ideas of the Trinity. But worship can go further to just be speechless in awe at the wonder of the essential trinity. To God the Maker's name Give honor, love, and fear To God the Savior pay the same To God the Comforter Father of lights above, your mercy we adore. The Son of your eternal love, 
the spirit of your power. To God the Maker's name, give honor, love, and fear. To God the Savior, pay the same, and God the Comforter, Father of lights above. Your mercy we adore, the Son of your eternal love and spirit.